Hello and today, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Blackburn Rovers 20 years from now. That's according to Football Manager 2018. Let's waste no more time. Jump in our DeLorean and head to the future. That's right, folks. Here we are, live. May 1st, 2037. 20 years or nearly 20 years have passed. Um, and where, just where, are Blackburn Rovers? So let's take a quick look. Here I am on my home screen. I am unemployed. I went on holiday for the best part of 20 years. And I've only got 75 emails. Huh. If that was true, that would be awesome. Anyway, so let's uh, take a sneak peek at Blackburn Rovers. Here they are. And first and foremost, you might notice, straight in the top left-hand side, Blackburn Rovers in the championship. So we did make it out of League One. So that's a bit of good news. Um, and this is your squad. This is the Rovers, 20 years from now. Um, pretty brief overview. There's no, doesn't seem to be many superstars. Let's take a quick look at the most expensive player. We have Adam Watang, 22-year-old English striker on loan from somebody. So same as Dave Holland, also on loan. Jonathan Dunn on loan. Chris Nelson. He seems to be our one and only uh, key valuable player. Um, scored 44 goals in his in his time for Rovers. Let's have a quick gander. We um, we picked him up on a freebie, but he, he's kicked on from there. So you never know. How old is he again? Just uh, step back. 26 years of age. Um, but anyway, let's um, let's go back in time now, shall we? To 2017, 2018. Let's take a look at how we progressed over the years. Let's take a look at the competitions now. I'm just going to navigate to the domestic leagues. Here we are. So we started life 2017-2018, League One. We finished fifth um, in that in the season, current season that we are in right now, which didn't look like it's good enough for promotion. And the next season, we finished fourth and again didn't get promoted. So eventually, again up as champions 2019-2020, uh, and then some years of struggle for Rovers, it appears, 19th, 20th in the championship, 10th, 8th. Uh, and our best hope came in 2032. We finished in the playoff spots, but obviously we, we probably, well, we didn't make it because we're still here in the championship. Um, furthermore, then a, a season, of, we dipped down to the 9th, to the 13th, and it looks like we are finishing outside the playoffs. Let's take a quick look at the table. 10th. Temp spot right now. Two games left in the season, which will bring us up to 69 points if we win them. Games in, in, in hand are worth nothing, really. You want to get points on the board, but we ain't going to get... We're not, we're not getting there. We could finish as high as ninth. Let's have a look how we did in the crappy League Cup. So, over the years, second round, first round, quarterfinals. So, 2019-2020, we, we uh, had a bit of luck there. Uh, second round, any other major joys? Not really. Uh, quarterfinal best over the next 20 years. Let's move on to the FA Cup. Second round, third round, third round, third round fourth round, fifth round. Uh, seems to be our our highlight. Lost to Crystal Palace in the 2033-2034 um, FA Cup. Now about the Mickey Mouse Cup, the Checker Trade Cup. Uh, taking part three times in our three seasons. Losing in the quarterfinal, losing in the second round, and fourth in Group D. Obviously, we don't really give a crap a Rooney about that bad boy. How about players? Let's take a look at our players. In fact, let's go best 11. So this is the overall. Out of the past 20 years, this is the finest Rovers players that have put on the blue and white of the past 20 years. Elliot Bennett is a familiar face for most of us. Uh, he makes it into the best 11 of all time. And when they say all time, like I said, there's only the 20 years. Um, let's go all the way back to this season that we are currently in. This is the best 11. And then we're now we're going to kick forward in time and see who uh, sticks around. Uh, next season, Raya still in there. Team, team of the season for Rovers. Uh, this fella, jo Josh Gordon, he makes it in there. Ten goals he did for that season. Uh, another new introduction, Fede Vico, uh, young, youngish midfielder with a 6.73 average. He comes in there. Smallwood's in there. Walsh Bennett remains uh, in a back four, a familiar back four. Lenahan's still sticking around. 
Uh, kicking off forward, Dominic Samuel gets himself onto the team of the season. Moving forward to the 2021-2022 season, and Jason Steele is back in a Rovers shirt, and he's in the team of the season. Kicking on forward, any other familiar faces? We're in the 2022-23 season. Nyimbi and Scott Wharton still sticking around. Um, again, kicking on to the next season. Nyimbi still there. And now we're getting to a point where we know nobody. No familiar faces of the 2024-25 season for Rovers. Um, kicking on forward, Ryan Brewster, 16 goals for Rovers. Stuart McLean the next season, he got 19 for the, for the campaign. Stephen Lynch, 19 goals, 2028-29 season. But yeah, that's a pretty... Look at this guy. Paul Harnett bagged 27 goals for Rovers. That must have been in a season when we were knocking on the door. Uh, Chris Nelson, 22 goals. It seems to be a very uh, revolving door for Rovers. It doesn't seem to be any consistency or loyalty from players at Blackburn Rovers. So let's take a look at Blackburn Rovers' records over the years. First and foremost, let's see how many games they won back-to-back -back in the season we are currently in. The highest we received is three. Stretching from September 12th to September 23rd. That's pretty bang on the nose right now. Uh, moving forward in time. Seven games back to back. 2019-2020 uh, season. In the season, I think we returned to the championship. Uh, two games uh, won back to back. That was the highest. Pretty uh, dismal. Uh, kicking on forward the past two seasons. Uh, seven games back to back. How about how many did we lose? Um, not too bad. I think the worst was 25-26 season. We lost six towards the back end of the season, which probably hindered any uh, playoffs or anything. Um, it probably rocked the boat severely. Um, most games without scoring. Four. We only had the one. We only had the one game we didn't score in the 2018-2019 season. So that must have been an exciting campaign. Uh, moving forward, players. Most goals in a season. Who do we have? Paul Hahn, like I said, 27 goals uh, for the campaign. Who was the main man giving him, giving him assists? Uh, Elliot Bennett on that. He stuck around for a while. He's a loyal fella. 19 for Matt O'Reilly. How about uh, the youngest player to don the blue and white? Uh, we have, back in the early days, Dean Robinson. He was 15 years, nearly just shy of his 16th birthday. But Mark Jobling, he uh, he is the record breaker right now. Where is he? Is he still knocking around? He is a free agent, free agent, 38 years. Got one cap to his name, so he did play for his country. He went. Uh, looks like he played for uh, the likes. He went up to Scotland. Was a bit of a success for Aberdeen and Rangers before Newcastle. Um, so Mark Jobling, record breaker. Meanwhile, who was the oldest to turn out for the blue and white? Mark Moore, this, this, this Polish fella, I'll let you guys have a crack at that. He seems to be the oldest. I'm just trying to scan through, see if there's anyone else. But Masic Vazicic, uh, 36, he's got to be a goalie, has to be a goalie. And he is not a goalie, he's a midfielder slash defender. How about money? Let's see how much we spent. What was our record? So the days of the record-breaking transfer fees are gone for Rovers, where the other clubs are spending 150-odd million, 200 million. We are spending 1.68 million on Gary O'Sullivan from Tottenham Hotspur. It's gone are the days of the £9 million transfers for the likes of uh, Jordan Rhodes. Um, we are in the real world now, in the, 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 the bargain bucket, the pound store of transfer fees. Uh, meanwhile, what, what do we get in return? Are the Venkis still being tight-fisted? Uh, we haven't really broke the bank too much. Scott Wharton for nearly five million. Liam Cole, we sold Liam Cole for knocking on seven point three million. Uh, a couple of other big ones up here. Stephen Lynch, we did sell Stephen Lynch. He had a good season. Um, two England under twenty one caps. Thirty two years old right now. Um, we 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 got rid of him. Big bucks to Leicester uh, and Craig Farley. Farley, Craig Farley, off to uh, Aston Villa, four million. In fact, I missed one. I missed one. Angel Gomez to Huddersfield, eight million. Angel Gomez, now a manager, in uh, but without a job. So let's take a look at our managers over the years. Uh, Tony Mowbray lasted uh, just over a year before getting the sack. Billy Bartok over as caretaker manager. Neil Rudford came in again, didn't last very long, just under a year. David Dunn. Uh, took over as caretaker manager. John Carver came in, lasted over two years. 
uh, before Damien Johnson took over as caretaker. It seems to look like we've had a few managers over the years. Thomas Frank came in for three years. Um, didn't do much. In fact, John Carver was our who got us promoted as champions. Uh, Thomas Frank, like I said, three years uh, before leaving. Um, Ashley Higgins was caretaker. Tim Sherwood came in. Uh, just under a year, uh, to be honest with you, not long. Higgins, 12 days before. Andy Durry came in for just over a year. Uh, then he left before Branislav Ivanovic came in. Again, didn't last very long. Ashley Higgins, caretaker manager, before Gary Probert came in for nearly two years. Got sacked. Dean Holden, nearly two years, got sacked. Ashley Higgins seems to be the Tony Parks of today. Before Grancio Pele comes in. He only lasted a year. Ashley Higgins once again taking over the reins. Adam Rooney, uh, poor man's uh, Wayne Rooney, comes in uh, just over a year before Ashley Higgins seems to get the deal on a permanent deal for two two seasons uh, and then leaves before Michael Townsend takes over. And here we are in the present day with Romeo, who ex the ex Southampton midfielder. Let's take a look at this Ashley Higgins fella. Uh, 47 years old, current manager of Brighton. Um, but look at that. Look at that history here. Uh, he played for the likes of Preston, Nelson, back at Bursko and Stockport Sports before getting his uh, chance in the big leagues with Blackburn as under-18 coach. And then he was the Tony Parks, like I said, of today. How about let's take a look and see if the Venkies are still around. All right, from here, let's take a look. Um, Youth Academy rating lowered. Oh dear, small vice captain, promoter league one. Tommy Elphick, put captain. Derek Deshart fails and take over. Owner Vankish Rao leaves. New chairman Lindsay Talbot takes over promotion from within. Jonathan Mitchell appointed as captain. Justin Rails, Justin Rose. Is that the golfer Justin Rose? Fails and take over bid. Um, Stephen Redford fails. New chairman. New chairman Maxwell Wright takes over consortium. So, I'm not entirely sure, but I think the Venkies are out. Finally, 20 years later, Venkies are gone. So that's pretty much all I got for you now. Another bit of plus points for you, Burnley, in the same division as only a couple places above us. Um, hopefully they will not get promoted in this season. But that's a quick overview of what's going on at Blackburn Rovers in 20-odd years' time. Um, yep, doesn't look like Premier League football's coming back anytime soon. Um, so maybe if we fast-forward another 30 years, maybe, just maybe, we'll get back to the Premier League. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and keep you bang up to date with all Football Manager related content as well as Blackburn Rovers content, that is, if you're interested. But until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not, Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.